everybody welcome back to the channel how's it going everyone we are going to do a video that will probably be in reverse order or something because <laughs> we are recording this video that is about two hours before the u.s women's national team play the second game against colombia um so but this video is probably going to come out before that video we're going to record that video after the game the video after this will probably be a kind of a recap what we thought about the two games against colombia the friendlies yeah so look out for those. It's an international break. So international break, we're playing friendlies, America's playing friendlies, but around the world, it's serious business going on out there. It's the UEFA Nations League, and there's other things, but I know those are kind of forefront on some people's radar. But the UEFA's Nations League is huge. I know that they are qualifying for Olympic spots, and I believe they're qualifying for other things, maybe even World Cup spots, something. Ooh. I'm not exactly sure. Sorry about that. Um, but we, I wanted to talk about two things that I saw, two, three th things that I saw that kind of, ex you know, kind of got me excited. Got you a little riled up in the good way. Yeah, it kind of got me riled <laughs> up. I wanted to talk about them because it was exciting to see. Timestamps down below, like always. But, but we're going to start with some, I, I was very happy to see this. Um, so as we know, you know, UEFA's Nation League uh, is happening. And obviously all the country squads get called up, called in uh, to the camps to go to play these games. And as we remember, in September, there was another um, international break. And um, the Spanish team played, whatnot, you know, World Cup champions but Jenny Hermosa was not called into that squad and a lot of people thought you know is that retaliation what at the time yes. <laughs> what at the time they said was it was to protect her so she wouldn't get because if the, the women didn't report they were going to get blacklisted if they didn't uh, yeah. so at the time they said that is why they didn't call Jenny Hermoso but an op but optically it did not look very good that mm -hmm. they did not call Jenny Hermoso obviously everything with Luisa Rubiales is still going on um, um Jorge Vilda apparently got a job coaching Morocco he's the head coach there now but um this break uh the squad was named and jenny hermoso was named to the squad yeah so that was good to say and and also they played a game i guess on the 27th a lot of teams played on 27 and she scored the game winner in the 89th minute oh uh, it's the best thing yes best thing ever they played italy i'll read a tiny bit from this Jenny Hermoso scores Spain winner in first game since Women's World Cup. Jenny Hermoso capped a remarkable return to the Spain squad by scoring an 89th minute winner as the as the world champions beat Italy 1 to 0 on Friday to make it 3 wins out of 3 in the UEFA Nations League. Hermoso was not selected for Spain's game in September by coach Monse, Monse Tome to protect her after she pressed charges for sexual assault against the ousted Spanish Football Federation Pre president Luis Rubiales for his unsolicited kiss after the World Cup final. She started on the bench against Italy but came on just after the hour mark to strike late on turning home her 52nd goal for her country after Alexia Poteas' shot had been saved. What better joy than to get back here, to feel good again, and to score the goal that gets the win, that gets the win, now I can only smile, I'd also told TVE after the game. So yeah, so I was so excited to see her get in there, A, get selected for the team, and then have the game-winning goal in the 89th minute. You get all the way to the 89th minute. She scores. That's got to feel good. Because you remember, they still, they didn't get to celebrate the World Cup realistically. You know, I Spanish know. team didn't. Even though overall what it was accomplished from what happened there is much more important probably than a World Cup win. The fact that there, the change is happening within the organization. Yeah, getting, bigger change. Yeah. But getting rid of Rubiales. But his court cases is still going on. So we kind of stopped talking about it. But just so happy to see, you know, the Spanish playing well. And because Italy, um, to, to get to one, it was nil-nil until the 89th minute. Italy, I mean, they had their own World Cup strife over the summer. They got rid of their head coach and there's like a lot of internal strife happening. Yeah. They released that statement. But I mean, to go toe to toe with the World Cup champions until the 89th minute, that's not pretty bad. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. not bad. I didn't watch the match, but it, I read that the defense, um, the, the defense really held up against Spain. Um, that's good. And the fact that, you know, they were very close to at least drawing against Spain, which is awesome. Okay. So the next thing we I saw, and actually, I saw this on Instagram. I didn't even know this was happening initially. It's like we had a little Netherlands versus Scotland matchup. Oh. And as we know, you know, Viv has been hurt. She 
she got hurt a year ago. I believe she made her return to Arsenal two game, one game ago, two games ago. Yeah, recently. So she was back. Also, Beth Mead is back. We haven't really talked about that since that happened. And she is back. Uh, she made her game return against this match against Scotland. And it was really cool to see. The, the whole crowd was chanting, meet him up, meet him up. It was really cool. She looked so happy to be back playing for the Netherlands. It looked great. So she was back. It was very cool to see. And as we know, you know, Scotland, Lisa, Lisa Evans, Viv's old girlfriend, old lover, she was playing um, with the Scottish team. It was actually her 100th cap for the Scottish team, too, which I think was very cool. So she was playing, you know, Lisa and Viv, you know, they were going to play against each other. And I don't think this has happened in a while because I think the last time they played against each other, either Lisa was hurt or Viv was still hurt. So they really hadn't been seen together in a long time. But they had a moment, a beautiful moment. that Such I Such a cute moment. Uh, and... This was either before or after the game because I see the thing it says before the game, but they actually had a few moments. Where, mm -hmm. um, but I'm the one I'm going to show on the, the screen right now. It's just this moment. They um, embraced. The teams were saying hi to each other. And obviously, Viv and Lisa are right there. They hug. And it's a nice, long, you know, friendly hug. Because if you see Viv, I mean, that smile she gives Lisa, I love that smile. Obviously, it's a friendly smile. It's They have affection for being, they really care about them as people. Nothing yeah, you always that. love. But you were in a relationship for yeah, a long for time. for so many years. Um, and then people point out um, DVDs. <laughs> look at the very end was the funniest look. Like, someone put it on Twitter. Where is it? Or here. This is her look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because she shook a little bit. <laughs> Also, that dynamic of Viv is Viv is dating DVD's old girlfriend, so they have oh, an ex. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> this is like this is like a uh, very strange love triangle. Yes. Sort of, yeah, or, like a or good love. Four, five, six. How many people are involved? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw this on Twitter. It says Viv hugging her ex Lisa while her current girlfriend's ex stares on with questions questionable facial expressions in the background <laughs> i love lesbians <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's very cute because you know well, like we've said sometimes you can be friends with your exes and sometimes you can't but they seem to be friends and then at the very end of the game i saw this if you see here um they have a little moment on the field too and at the very end i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna play the video but i might just do a screen grab of it but Viv and Lisa at the very end of the game were kind of waving the people in the stands like yeah. together. So it's super cute. I mean, um, Viv and Lisa look like they have nothing but nothing but love, love and admiration for each other's people. And that I will say that smile that Viv give gives Lisa is very cute. Like it's a very cute smile. Yeah. And also, if you remember when they both went to Emma Mitchell's wedding, I don't know, about a year ago, a long time at this point. Remember, they went to the wedding, you know, they're both good friends with Emma Mitchell. And then in that picture that Viv posted, I believe, they were sitting right next or they were standing right next to each other. Yeah. yeah and you know that. how the fans kind of fan. We do. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, they know that the fans would get a kick out of that. And so I think that was purposeful yeah. then. You know, obviously, I don't necessarily think them hang, you know, embracing was purposeful. Um, here, they were just saying hi to each other. They said hi um, before the match, after the match. I mean, it was just very cool to see them together. And they look so happy. You know, it's none of our business. But one day, I want a book from one of them just to know what happened. You know what I mean? Like, I want a book from everyone to know everything. I know. It seemed like <laughs> everything worked out because Viv is obviously with Beth. I believe Lisa is with one of her I believe Lisa's with somebody. I haven't really been keeping up, but I believe she is. Oh, yeah. But just to know what happened, because sometimes sometimes people are just not on the same page with things. Everything is the same, but they're not on the page with one thing or two things, you know. Right. Or they're better friends than lovers, you know. Yeah, exactly. So very cute. Who saw that? Because I thought it was so cute. Then again, remember after when we didn't know that Viv and Lisa had broken up, they had gotten together on the field after um, an Arsenal West Ham match and it looked mm -hmm. like they were still together, but they were. And they just had very affectionate looks on their faces too then. Yeah. So it's just kind of like you just never know. Okay. But so good to see them. And, uh, you know, if they play again, good to see them both healthy playing, you know. Yeah. Viv was sure. injured. And then Lisa was injured a while ago. But good to see them playing. I think the, the final score was like 5 nil. So. But Scotland versus Netherlands play again on the 31st. So this video is either going to come out on the 30th or the 31st. They're actually going to play that day as well. So, so that will be interesting as well. Are we going to see Viv and Lisa part two? Hopefully. <laughs>
So many, so many games in the Nations League. Other than the Olympics, like I said, I think they might be qualifying for... Oh, they might be also qualifying for the Euros. That's what it is. Euros. Mm-hmm. I think I said World yeah. Cup before. So, the, you know, this is very important stuff that they are qualifying for. Some other games I saw. Um, a lot of games being played. I did see uh, Ireland played Albania and Katie McCabe scored a hat trick. Whoa. Yes. Love hat trick. And it was... But Katie scored in the fourth, 26th, and 81st minute. So <laughs> that was... Nice. She's all over the place. She was doing things the whole the whole match. Yeah, she's across the board. You know, very important matches they are playing. Uh, so far, Spain has won all their matches. So whatever happens, if they're qualifying for something, Spain's or Spain is already in. I don't even know if they're in, but I'm saying they're in because they keep winning. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what does everyone think? Questions, comments down below. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.